We are at Franklin Falls and since the road that we would usually be taking is closed for the winter, we have had to hike in two miles just to get to the campground where the trailhead starts. And here it is. Yay! Here's the campground. Now we just have to find the trailhead. I don't know if you guys can see this, I sure hope so, but it's snowing. It is just such a nice winter wonderland touch on this beautiful hike today. So, from the Denny Creek campsite, you can go one of two ways. You can either keep going straight, and that'll take you to the falls, or you can kind of cut through the campground, and that's what we did. And we started the trail over on the side. It's a little less packed, um, and we just kind of wanted to be away from people. So, for understandable reasons. So, we are taking this route. It's a little less traveled, so it's a little harder, but it's so pretty. So this is our hike. We have our mini spikes on. Um, it's like the least handling minimum requirement for being out here this time of year. Uh, and we're still post polar So it's making it a little bit slower than what I would like, but you know, Sometimes just being out here, you just have to take it in strides and just be happy that you're just in nature. You know what I mean? Especially if I'm like me, I work from home all day. So being able to get out here, get out into the wilderness is just so nice. What do you think, babe? Love it. Oh, and we continue on. So bringing up that thought about just being happy in the wilderness, um, I have actually, we have actually signed up for a 52 hike challenge this year, which means, um, you know, hike 52 times in a year. So like once a week, get out into the woods. Um, it is actually supposed to be super good for your mental health, uh, super good for like your vitamin D's and things like that. Uh, we have started that challenge for this year and we're a little bit behind the eight ball, but that's usually how we go. Um, we're only at our second hike for the year, but we'll make up for it, I'm sure. Alright guys, the moment 
you have been waiting for. It has been four miles total just to get to this point, but I do believe that it will be quite worth it when you get a load of this. Isn't that just absolutely stunning? Alright, let's get closer guys. I love that it's still snowing. It's just the perfect setting for an awesome winter Saturday. And then there's Scott. There's no jacket on. So pretty guys. So hopefully you were able to hear me while we were at the falls. There was so much wind, um, I could barely even hear myself, but uh, it was so pretty. And even in the winter, with the trail closed, it's still actually a popular trail. we've passed the falls and we've gone backwards we went up the way that people usually go coming down so we are taking a nice easy trail back to the van uh, this is wagon road trail um, but it seems more like an actual forest road or at least somebody has been using it as a road, but <sighs> wow, it is just so whoop. post rolling in the snow ah! and getting hit with snowballs. Thank you, baby. Hey. <laughs> I tell you what, no filter needed for the PMWO, in my very heavily biased opinion. Can never just be a simple hike with him. Nope, nope, nope.
so Scott's had enough of the micro spikes for now. I think uh, we're in flat. <laughs> we're in flat snow and we're kind of starting to lose them. So it's better probably to just not wear them when you can't, when you like, can get away with it. Uh, instead of having to backtrack probably about a quarter of a mile to find a lost micro spike. Or you just keep checking your feet. That's <laughs> Note to self, lesson learned. Lesson learned. Lesson learned. was a forest road that we were on. Somehow we got turned around when uh, when we left Franklin Falls. Uh, not really sure what happened, but you know, that's what Gaia GPS is for. So we figured it out. Um, and now we're back on the trail. Okay, so this is the bridge that we just went over and you can just see the difference of snow from their side versus our side. Now it's just ice and it's raining. So now we're just back on a forest road. That'll take us to where uh, they have closed the road for the season, um, and that's where our van is parked. It is, like I said, about two miles from the Sunny Creek camper campground. Um, so, yeah, this is this is gonna be our next two miles. Um, kind of why we decided to start you guys off with a more interesting part. Uh, but I mean, as far as road hikes go. There could be worse. So. All right, guys, we are almost at the end of today's hike. Not sure if you can see it ahead, but that's where the barricades are and where all the parking starts Woo! for this trail. <laughs> As you can tell, we are very, very, very excited. Uh, all right, so as you can see, a very popular holy goodness this is a very popular trail <laughs> even in winter when the road is closed and you still have to do I think it's like total round trip is about eight miles and yet it's still this popular oh, gotta love it all right thanks for joining us on our hike to Franklin Falls today we hope that you'll join us again. Um, we'll be putting together some videos with our van tour, updates about ourselves, and just kind of an introduction video soon. Uh, till then, I'm Scott. I'm Kat. And with the Outdoorsy Vegans. Bye. Bye. So thanks again for joining us on our hike to Franklin Falls. For more hikes in the future, please be sure to like and subscribe. We promise the video quality will get better. Hope to see you on our next adventure.